Now, we uh, continue our look at the housing situation in the West next. As more and more people find they can't afford to buy their own home, some are looking to build it themselves instead. Yes, our business correspondent Dave Harvey is at one centre in the West dedicated to helping people make their home building dreams become a reality. Uh, Dave, um, I guess you've got to be pretty good at DIY before you start thinking about building your own place. I don't know, David. Look what I knocked up this afternoon. Nice little uh, gable window there. Nice, beautiful slate roof. Isn't that swanky? But come and have a look inside, because actually joking apart, the whole point of this place, the National Self-Build Centre in Swindon, is to show people actually how they can do it themselves. Come in here. You've got to, if you don't like the paintwork, don't like the door, no worries. Choose your own. And that's kind of the whole point. Here's the kitchen. And now I know at once I've divided you at home. Some of us loving the sleek lines, the down lighters, the... Fancy, uh, let's take a seat in this lovely, uh, oh, love a bit of pink acrylic, don't you? No, you're hating this, you want a nice country cottage look, it's your choice. And that's kind of the point. We got put onto all this by a couple who built their own dream retirement home just south of Evercreech in Somerset for really not that much money. And they said, you know what, send your cameras to have a look. Hi, my name's Ken Opton. And this is our house, which has been five years in the planning and execution, and we built it last year. And I'm Carol, and we designed this house so that we would uh, be able to live in it for the rest of our days, and it would take us right through into our future. So this is the hall, um, and it comes through um, from the hall into uh, the room that we really, really love, which is our open plan living kitchen dining space. We know how we want to live, so we decided that if we wanted that, then we should start from scratch. I designed this model because the plans, which are two-dimensional normal plans, Carol found difficult to translate. Because it's quite difficult to put together on paper exactly where you want your rooms to go. There's always one room that doesn't have a door. It took us over, well over a year to find the plot. I was the project manager. There were one or two mistakes on my behalf. I think it had teething problems, didn't it? It was things that we just didn't know about, didn't anticipate. Budget is a variable thing <laughs> and does tend to stretch. We ended up with a, uh, an actual spend of 246,000. Well, we probably saved ourselves between only 20 or 30,000 pounds by doing it ourselves. I love everything about it. It's just absolutely delightful to be here. I love the view, the space in here. Uh, almost perfect. There's one or two light switches in the wrong place, you know, but <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. It, it, it suits our lifestyle down to the ground. Ken and Carol, respect. I'm wondering, Green Oak, what do you think, Harvey? Harvey Fremlin joins us from the National Self-Build Centre here. What's going on here? Well, of course, we've been building with oak for hundreds of years in this country, uh, but this is a, a contemporary looking building combined with modern insulation materials, uh, to contemporary cladding to create a really beautiful looking modern home. OK, and this place is all about coming on here, got some different stuff here, and it's all about ordinary products. Everybody can come in and just have a look. What have we got here? Yeah, well, this is actually a recycled plywood material formed into building blocks. They're lightweight, they're easy to transport into sites, they're environmentally friendly. Looks very modern and funky. Yeah, it is, um, and it's perfect for the self-builder because it's very flexible uh, to use, and you can, as you can see, you can use different um, render finishes to, uh, to this building system. Easy for you to say, Harvey. I mean, I'm looking around this place and I'm thinking, really, is this generally the sort of thing that we can all do? David said you have to be a bit of a DIY genius, don't you? Well, last year, 12,500 people actually built their own home, so it really is you know, something that's achievable for people to do. I mean, that puts us in the top 10 uh, developers in the country. And the government wants more, don't they? A lot more. They do. They're looking at building 20,000 self-build units by the year 2020. Um, OK, so Harvey, we're all going to have to get on down here to Swindon and have a look. There's a Cotswold stone here, lovely, but actually it's held up by a timber frame. Now, all the while we've been talking, you 